I want to quickly talk about why getting certified in CPR is not enough. So when I got certified in CPR, it was infant, adult, and child CPR. What ended up happening the following week is I was speaking with a client, and the client actually asked me about his 13-year-old daughter and how to save her from choking, and if it didn't work, how would I save that daughter in a CPR scenario? What ended up happening is, even though I got certified just days earlier, I forgot the steps. And so just giving certification is not enough. What happens with our memories as human beings is that you can actually get a, an A on a test on a Monday, and then on a Wednesday you fail that test. Well, why is that? Because within just 24 hours of learning new information, we lose about 60% of that memory, and within 48 hours, it's up to 80%. So you can imagine getting certified and having sort of a false sense of security, thinking, okay, well now I know how to save my baby or child in a choking scenario or any other scenario, um, CPR scenario, you're going to forget those steps. So what we recommend at Our Child's Keeper is to have constant refreshers. Watch these videos on a normal basis because your children will seek danger 100% of the time. They will find danger 100% of the time. And your children will always be safer the more you know as a parent. And that knowledge also has to be passed on to your caregivers. Like we've had nannies in the past, au pairs, babysitters. If they don't know these things too, then what are you gonna do in a choking scenario when you're not around, right? So joining a membership site like Our Child's Keeper is critical because we can also provide them with an all access pass so they can have refreshers as well. So when you leave on date night, you know, you can leave with a peace of mind knowing that everything is taken care of. You have all your plans in place. Your babysitter or your nanny knows exactly what to do in a choking scenario, how to perform CPR. They can really learn and be refreshed within a matter of, let's say, five to seven minutes. So talk about peace of mind. I still encourage you to get certified, but not rely on the certification because what ultimately will happen is you're gonna be presented with a scenario, you're going to panic because you didn't actually learn the skill. Okay, so why get certified even at all? Well, when you're actually in a class, in CPR class, you're going to have mannequins. And mannequins are really, really cool because you're going to have to be doing compressions that let's say for a baby of one and a half inches down over the child, over the age of one, two inches down. You wanna know what that feels like. So we still highly encourage you to get certified in infant, child, and adult CPR. And we also want to think about really becoming a valuable member of the community. It's why we called the company Our Child's Keeper, because we're thinking about our brother's keeper, right? We're taking care of each other. So it's also our community's keeper. If you're in a restaurant and you see somebody choking or somebody's baby or child choking, and you know what to do, but the parents do not, you can be the hero there, right? You can save their life. So you want to know how to do that and getting certified is just another step in being able to really feel what that feels like. But again, do not rely on it. Regularly refresh your, your skills. Highly encourage it. Join us at OurChildsKeeper.com to learn more. For more newborn, baby, and child safety tips, strategies, and training, please like and share this video. Become a subscriber of Our Child's Keeper and click that bell icon so you'll be alerted when we post next. Because the more you know as a parent, the safer your children will always be. Thank you so much.